This is Rock Leach with Social Fire. Now, Carmicia Hilliard Evans had spoken out and she said some things. Now, I'll be honest, I wasn't going to do this video, but based on what she said, oh, you don't want to miss this video. Now, I have to be honest with you, doing this, um, we just released the video on the Hilliards the other day, and if you haven't watched that, go watch that video. Uh, it's, a, it's a very, we went through a lot of different information that we get. I didn't even get a chance to give out all the information. But listen, towards the end of the video, my team was a little concerned about something that I said about uh, Kamisha, and I hope I'm saying that name right, Hilliard Evans, what I said at the end, because I said she needed to go sit down somewhere. Now, I'll explain why I said that, and then I'm going to share my heart. I said that because we're in a generation right now that is doing what just recently happened to Olympic gold medalist Simone Biles, where her family was clout chasing and got on the Internet to put their names out there because the talk of Simone and everybody was so proud for what she did for America. They sought to attach their name at a convenient time to benefit from that clout. Now, I just felt like in my heart, because of what was going on with the Hilliards, when in, in, actually, in actuality, it wasn't a level of, of high success, but a level of uh, low, you know, a dark place with the Hilliards where they are, uh, with Bridget Hilliard and with Ivy Hilliard. And I just felt like at that moment, the daughter was just, you know, people are talking about them. So it's a level of putting my name out there. And that is before I watched the video. That is before... I read the books and I did all of that just here recently. And I must say, it has changed my perspective, especially hearing from her own voice about what was going on. And I, I just want to share that with you. So I do want to say, and one thing that I do want to make you aware that on this channel, I am not like everybody else. I actually have the Holy Ghost. I care what God thinks about me and the content that we put out here. And so I do want to apologize to Lady Kamisha Hilliard Evans for my statements on Go Sit Down Somewhere. I think that her voice is actually relevant and needed to be heard because my team brought up something to me. And I'm going to tell you what's leading to this apology. And then we're going to go ahead and take a look and react to her video that she put out on Facebook. But what brought my me to this place of repentance is because I didn't believe I did not be, simply did not believe that she was only lending her voice because so many people had reached out. I said, you know, where's the proof in that? You know, nobody reached out to her. But my team sent me, it sent me, one person on my team sent me a number, 137. And I was like, what, what is 137? They said, 137. This is how many people reached out to you about doing the video on the Hilliards. They wanted to hear your voice on the Hilliards. And I said, wow, OK, I, I see what you're doing. I think I see what you're doing. So they went ahead and explained a little further and said, Rock, I'm a part of your team because of your integrity and because you care about what God uh, thinks about you. And that's all they said. I knew then I needed to issue an apology for what I said there at the end. Now, a lot of these other YouTubers and uh, influencers, they can do what they want to do. But here on Socialify, we seek to represent God with the information that we're putting out here. I make sure that even when we're getting into this level of faith versus culture and these conversations that come out of this, I don't get in the mud. I'm just going to say that again. I, I believe in giving you the information, but I don't believe in getting in the mud. Let's be even more real about it. A lot of people say, well, you shouldn't talk about that. You shouldn't say this about the church, but you're going to go in your home privately and talk about it like God don't see that. And we're having a conversation that is necessary over here. And I believe that forgiveness is very important. And I care what God thinks about me. And so they brought that up to me. And, I, and so I do, once again, I want to make sure y'all hear me. This is not about the commenters uh, that, that may have said something, but this is about a young lady who actually had, uh, has a story and, uh, you know, have written some books, but she's moved on with her life. 
And she was only responding and lending her voice because so many were reaching out to her, wanting to hear from her, even saying vindication. And I'm going to show this because she said, no, 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 we're not even into the vindication thing because there's so much more going on than something like that. And I have great respect for her. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Just wanted to share that uh, and repent once again, Kamisha Hilliard Evans. Uh, and to those who follow her and those who follow Social Fire E Church, now I will go hard. I'm going to go and tell you, I will go hard in the paint and, and say what I'm going to say. But when I really feel like that I've missed something and the team feels like I've missed something, we believe over here in repentance. And I do want to repent to you and to those who heard that about her sitting down. This is definitely a place where she needs to speak out. And so let's go ahead and get into this video where she uh, she spoke uh, on her uh Facebook. And let's go ahead. Now, I do want to let you all know I'm going to stay within fair use, although she gave everyone permission. She said, go ahead and share it, put it out everywhere. I still am going to stay in fair use. Uh, and that means I'm going to stop the video every now and then to go ahead and make commentary, uh, have commentary on what's being spoken in at, at that particular moment, because I've got to stay in the fair use. Now, I always say, miss me with the comments about you stopping the video too much over here. That's what we're going to do. Because even though she gave us permission, she could change her mind down the road and strike everybody who did it. That's not saying she will, but that's why even when people say you can use it, I'm still very careful because you could change your mind later on and it would cost us. And so I want to go ahead and get into this video right here. Let's go. And I did speed it up just for the whole fair use thing. Let's go. Hope y'all are doing well. I don't have any makeup. I did not comb my hair. So what we're getting is what we're getting right now because I was out about to go out to run errands. So um, we all know why I'm here. And um, if you don't know, then go find somebody to bring you up to speed because I have no intention of using my space and time to regurgitate what is already known. But I do wanna start by stating two emphatic truths. And that is that I am absolutely appreciative for your messages of prayer for me, Simi and our sons. and. You know, some of you, I don't even know you personally, but I know that you've stood up for me. You stood beside me, you supported me and prayed for me in my household. And that has been a source of strength for us. That's why integrity matters to me in this space. There are some of you uh, who are part of the social fire community and not you respect me. And I want to make sure that I maintain that respect. I keep that respect. And so I get it. Some people I move for, but then some of y'all been riding with me since day one. And I thank God for you and so just want to say that let's go second i want everybody to know that i love my family and i've always maintained a space for them frequently where they could reach out to me at any time there has been no movement in that area for the last 24 years so all i can offer to that situation is hope and faith that somehow god is going to turn it around i honestly hate it this video is long so i'm not going to stop it too much but 24 years that's a long time. It's kind of hard to preach about the prodigal son and you won't allow that example to be present in your own home. I'm just putting that out there for anybody. Every family goes through a season of somebody being rebellious and doing something. I'm saying it because I got six grown kids. <clears throat> I have six adult children and I've had to reconcile and even apologize to them because in that moment, I may have felt led to say a certain thing, but I'm not giving none of mine to the devil. And if it means I got to repent, I got to repent. And I'm going to be because she's going into so much about this level of perfection that exists, y'all. Even when the father accepted the prodigal son back, for those of you that know the Bible, he came back and his father saw him a ways off. And the thing that most folk miss when they're talking about the prodigal son is that the daddy accepted him back and didn't tell him to take a bath when he came back. Meaning the, the son realized when he was in with the hogs and stuff like that, that mean he was in there, the smell was on it, but the father didn't say, take a bath. When you came back, many of us want our kids to be perfect. Want our children to be perfect. They are not going to be perfect because you are not perfect. I just want to say that, but I believe in reconciliation. I believe and families coming back together. I understand there may be a season of discord, but if God is involved, there needs to be a level of coming back. 24 years is too long, especially for Ivy and Bridget Hilliard. I'm gonna go ahead and say that. Ideally, I would not have to be even talking about this because it's 
really in 24 years I have no contact I have no information that you guys don't already know um, but God has kept me and he's placed significant people in my life to fill the void that was left by my parents and I have a group of sister friends and brothers that have my back at all times and I wouldn't replace them with anything so she's not bitter that's what I got from that she's not bitter God's filled that void according to her she's not bitter she's moving on hmm I want y'all to hear that because that's important. Really, the only reason why I'm coming to you with this is because you're inboxing me, you're messaging me, my name is being mentioned in blogs and spaces that I don't even understand why. Um, so here I am one time so that we can talk about it. Um, one thing that I will say is that when dysfunctional behavior is ignored or left unresolved and people don't, people relegate it to it's not my business instead of taking a stance of not on my watch at the smallest most minute levels it makes space and room for that dysfunction to grow and expand exponentially exponentially until it reaches climatic levels which is Woo! that is powerful some people relegated to uh not my business instead of saying not on my watch social fire here i'm gonna go ahead and say it not on our watch. That's who we are over here. If it need to be talked about, we going to talk about it. And God's allowing us to build people over here that are growing on the team. Our team is growing. And uh, it, not on our watch. If it need to be talked about, we going to talk about it. I love that she said that. That's important. Most of that's not my business. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's your business. It's out here in this public sphere. Oh, my goodness. Let's go. That was just powerful. I'm sorry. What we're seeing today. I am speaking specifically to family relationships where spouse, children, parents, and extended family are involved. Whether it is abuse, it is isolation, it's disowning, or anything in between. If you are willing to disregard or throw away something that should be valuable to you, then, and not seek the self-reflection and healing that you need to understand what led you to the point where you are misaligned and out of structure with God, what, what God has established for the family, that small opening has space to balloon completely out of control. It I'm loving that she's so articulate. This is not something where she's in her feelings. This woman here can talk. She can talk. So they didn't poke. <laughs> they didn't poke the bear. And this woman here is very articulate. She's not in her feelings. I'm just not sensing that. I know y'all getting that as well. She's not in her feelings. She's talking right here. This is good. This is not just good for her situation, but she actually ministering to the world right here. I hope y'all getting that. This she's ministering to the masses with what she's saying. May not be seen immediate, but there will be small, significant warning signs of what is come to come. I understand that you want answers. I understand that this hurts. I understand that there's confusion. I understand people are like, what in the world is going on? But what you are witnessing is the root of dysfunction that was outlined in the pages of going to church to catch hell that is now playing out for you in a public forum that was once hidden from you. Okay. Now I do want to make mention real quick and I'm going to go right here. We're going to come back to the video, but I did go and get a copy. I got a copy and I read it, uh, got my hands on a copy and I read her book, uh, going to church to catch hell and y'all it's, it's very interesting. And I want to make sure that you go get you a copy as well, because it, it lets you in on a lot of information. You see, many times we can just look at stuff and just see it for what it is without going and, and uh, getting context. This book here, this book that I'm pointing the wrong way, this book right here, uh, you need to go get. And then the other one that she did, which was uh, what now finding the confidence to move on. Uh, you all, yeah, I'm an avid reader, so it's nothing for me to go pick up a book and get it, whether I do it on Kindle or whatever, what I get my hands on, I'm going to read it. And this helped me to understand a lot of who she is and where she's coming from. Anyway, I just wanted to get that, get that said because that was necessary and needs to be said. All right, let's go back. Continue. And I don't want you to take this in any way of as me saying this is vindication, because this is in no way vindication for me. My truth was my truth 14 years ago when going to church to catch hell was pr printed. What I feel right now is just. A that was good that she said that th this is not vindication. For those of you that are upset with Ivy Hilliard and Bridget Hilliard, she's basically telling you that's this is not vindication for me. I know y'all love me, but that's not what this is. I love that she said that. 
that takes a level of integrity to say that because she could make it all about her right now. And there's several people who love her that would be okay with it. A disappointing level of sadness. I don't think that I can even say it to you in words how much the level of emotion that I've gone through in the last couple of days just because I'm not there. I have nothing to offer to this situation other than being a safe landing spot for my mother to land, give, offering her something that she didn't offer to me in the last 24 years. That's all that I have to offer. I have no information to give you. I have no insight as to what's going on. I know what you know. It may be a couple of other things that I'm not at liberty to speak about right now, because honestly, this is not my business. My family and I have been 24 years removed from this situation. Now, listen, this is what we're not getting from Ivy and Bridget Hilliard. OK, Kamisha right here, and I hope I'm saying your name right. Please forgive me if I'm not. Uh, but Lady Evans, I'm just going to call her that moving forward. Lady Evans, the daughter, is giving us clarity. She's saying it's not. I don't know. Y'all know about as much as I know, because there has been no connection in the last 24 years. Why can't they give us clarity like that? They're all over the place. And she said it. it's the people all over the place. I love her clarity. I'm just saying that in this case, um, the parents need to be like the daughter that they don't talk to. Just saying. And I can honestly say, and I'll share this with you guys, that I have offered up so many thank you, Lord, for my children um, that they are not having to go through this in a way that is harmful to them. Um, Y'all pray for my nieces and nephews because this has got to be devastating for them. Um, but I, what the reason why I'm here now is just because I know that you want some answers that are not being given to you. And all you're hearing is pray and people putting their own spin on what they think. Ooh. I'm gonna tell you right now, what you think is not what's happening. <laughs> Oh, 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 come on. Come on, let's get it on out there. Let's get it on out there. What you think is not okay. That was okay. Now, oh, I'm I'm wanting to know what she's finna say next. Come on now, talk to me. So um this is a bubbling up that, you know, God, there was hope that they would turn the path, but this is a bubbling up, y'all. And at this point, in order to remain neutral in your perspective and not allow what you hear and see to consume you, um, and it's hot out here, but I was outside, so, um, and not cause you to choose a side when you don't have all the information and you love and care for all that are involved, you just got to pray. Um, we know that there is seed time and there is harvest time. And that harvest is really based on the grace of God extended towards you. But when you are unrepentant and a reprobate mind and that harvest comes back, you got to deal with what you sown into the atmosphere. OK. <laughs> Who is she talking about right here? Is she talking about Ivy Hilliard? She talking about Bridget Hilliard? Uh, you know, you got to deal with what you sown into the atmosphere. Okay, that that was a lot there. Hmm. Okay. And and pray for God's grace and mercy to see you through to the other side. I've dealt <laughs> with what I needed to deal with. Um, I have opened the door for there to be reconciliation. There has been resistance on every end. So I cannot take on this situation that is happening now as my own it's not my battle to fight what i can do is like i said be a safe landing space for my mother to land for knowing that there is somebody out there who still loves and cares for her and has no ulterior motive um connected to that safe space for her so what i i, I love my dad too but you know at right now the person in crisis is my mother and i'm glad she says she love her dad too but she said the person that's in crisis okay okay Y'all heard that just like I did. Okay, that's good. And um, I would solicit to you publicly your prayers. I have put the feelers out there already, given my phone number, getting, gotten information out to the people who can get information back to her to get her to me. Um, but I cannot 
force something that's not she's not willing to let happen. I hate that she got to go through other people to get to her mama. That's oh, it's a it's a huge wall between her mother and her. That that's you got to go. That's something. You got to go through other people, put out information, put breadcrumbs in different places for folk to. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot of resistance. That's a lot of. It's almost like she's putting protection around herself, protect herself from her daughter. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm reading into it too much. So what I would pray for you, pray for what I would ask of all of you is just to stop the whole. Um, see, here's the thing that I that I'm trying to stay in a way and say stay in a way and stay um positive about this all when the person with the microphone is the loudest but that doesn't necessarily mean the person with the microphone is right okay person with the microphone is the loudest it, it seems like she's trying to say some things without saying them she's trying to say some things without hmm that Okay, come on, come on. That's good. That's good. Let's let's go. And I want y'all to catch what I'm saying there. Is that oh, we catching what it. you're hearing from the microphone might not be right. Um, but you can't take that as being the absolute of truth. There are so many factors involved in this that when I was going through, my voice was silenced and we didn't have social media back then. And so I kind of had to, to sit in the space of letting people's chatter and the person that had the most influence frame the narrative around what was happening to me. And right now, I would just caution you against allowing the person with the microphone to frame the narrative around what you're going to think about this situation. And just, y'all, the prayers of the righteous, not the prayers of the ones that want to know something, but the prayers of the righteous got to prevail right now. And... Just as you, I know you guys have prayed for me, I need you to pray for her. And um, I believe that God is, um, he's, he's on the throne. And we can boldly come before the throne of grace and get whatever we need of him. And right now we need some things from him. And um, unfortunately pride is standing in the way of some things. And um, I could tell she's getting emotional uh, talking about the pride of standing in the West and things. I mean, this is, this is, uh, she's kind of going off script a little bit, but she's still, she's sharing her heart. I think at first it was a lot of the intellect and she was articulating well, but I, I hear her heart starting to come out really strong. Uh, just wanted to put that in there. I'm sorry for being emotional because I was fine before I started this, but mm. there's some prideful things happening right now that are destroying. She said prideful things happening right now. She said that the witness and the lives of people who have been dependent on some things that are coming from that pulpit. And unfortunately, it hasn't always been public for them to see and people think that because it hasn't happened to them, that it's not plausible or that it's not happening at all. And this is bad, y'all. Um, but y'all got to pray. Um, and just keep your mouth in line with what the word of God says about the situation and don't let gossip be a distraction. Um, I'm fine. I don't know what is happening to me right now. I'm fine. I just, Woo! come on, give it to us because this, this, this is a lot y'all. I'm quite sure. Uh, she got so much. I'm going to say what's probably caused her to be emotional because she could outright just say a lot of things and this whole navigating it uh, you know right being respectful making sure she walks biblically and not lend her voice in a in a bad way i mean that's a lot to navigate you know and it's probably causing the emotion to come out especially with those memories and different things like that uh but she says she don't know why she's crying and i'm quite sure it's it's a lot going on right here for her um I just need you guys to lift her up in prayer. And, you know, no matter how you feel about the way that I have been treated, God has been good to me. Um, I like that she says, no matter how you think I've been treated, I want you to lift her in prayer. 
I love how she keeps taking herself out of it. Don't don't focus on me. And because y'all love me, focus on her. She needs the prayer. She's in crisis and she needs the prayer. I like that. That's godly. That's integrity. There's nothing missed. There's nothing delayed in my life. Um, he's been good to me. So you don't need to worry about a loss of um, your stance with regarding me by praying for her. Just please take this for what it is and um that's good understand that there's some this is there's some spiritual warfare but there's also some personal things that are happening that should not be going on okay spiritual because ivy hilliard said this is a spiritual battle but she said there's also some personal things that are going on that shouldn't be going on that that was i heard you i heard you and unfortunately like i said in the beginning when dysfunction remains uncovered and undealt with it it blows up and this is a blowing up that is happening right now um y'all hear her she talking she talking good she's letting us know that dysfunction is blowing up and so i just wanted to really come on here and say that i see your messages i see your you sending me messages that you're praying for me i am not i i can't respond to all y'all because i really don't even know what to say other than thank you <laughs> you know um and i'm not trying because i'm not trying to um invoke myself into a situation that's not mine so i am i, I want to collectively let you know that i see it um i thank you for it and I thank you for always covering our family in prayer. And I'm specifically speaking about myself and Simi and the kids. And well, they're not kids; they're grown men. So our sons. And honestly, if if this was not affecting them in a way that you know they're seeing their mom's name being mentioned in spaces that sh it should not be, I probably would not even be here today um, because I would have just been quiet and let it myself do what i needed to do behind the scenes and let it play out however it needed to play out but my admonishment to you is to just um just pray and um we know that there is some good that both of my parents have sold out into this earth atmosphere and let's just pray that in this situation i want to know what you think about it jump down in the comments and let me know what you think about lady Carmisha hilliard evans and what she had to say let's go